Lesson 4.1, graphing polynomial functions. How do you identify and graph polynomial functions? There were two problems left on the page. You were asked to do these two problems for independent practice, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. You were being asked to solve the g rule at x. Here is your g rule, and they want it only at x equals negative 4. So all of these x values are going to be replaced with this negative 4. So all the x values got replaced with a negative 4. I am testing the g rule at negative 4. First thing I need to do is exponents. The entire quantity of negative 4, which means I need to make sure I put the entire parenthesis around it, this is 256 minus 32. The entire quantity of negative 4, meaning the parentheses need to be all around it, raised to the second power is 16. That was our last exponent. Order of operations, now it says I need to go straight through and multiply from left to right as I see it. There is no multiplication. I need to do negative 32 times 16. So I have minus 512. I need to do positive 256 times a negative 4. So I am now subtracting 1024. Order of operations now says I need to go left to right and I need to add as I go through. So the first thing I see is 256 minus 512. This is negative 256, and I'm subtracting the 1024. Last one is negative 256 minus 1024. So I have two answers. Answer number one says I tested my g rule at negative 4, and I got the answer negative, negative 1280. You could also write it as I tested my g rule at negative 4, and I got the answer, negative 1280. Your second problem. I'm being, te I'm being asked to test the F rule when X was negative 2. And here is my F rule. So I'm going to type in negative 2 for all of these X values. f at negative 2 will always stay as f at negative 2. Order of operations says the first thing I need to do is my exponents. So I have three times the entire quantity of negative 2, meaning it needed a parenthesis, raised to the fifth power is negative 32. That was the last exponent. Now order of operations say I need to go through and I need to multiply. So 3 times negative 32 is a negative 96. Negative 6 times negative 2 is a positive 12. That was the last multiplication. Now we're supposed to go through from left to right and add as it comes up. So first one I see is a negative 96 plus 12. So I have negative 84. And now we need to add that 10. So negative 84 plus 10 is a negative 74. So you have two answers. Your first answer, I tested my F rule at negative 2, and I got the answer negative 74. The other answer is I tested the F rule at negative 2, and I got the answer negative 74.